Hey you guys, what is up? It is Drew and we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be installing these dial dynamic LED lights inside my 2011 Mustang GT. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to basically just put your hand here and just try to grab underneath from here and basically you're just gonna pull down don't worry about breaking this it's pretty much just has some clips and just like that it drops down now I found that pretty much you want to take these bulbs out right here and what I found is pretty easy is if you just actually disconnect this right here like that and pretty much it takes apart the whole assembly so basically you know it's a lot easier to actually take out the bulbs and everything like that so it's a lot easier to just work on than to be right here hanging and you know you don't have enough room so you know just do that it pops off right there you got one clip there and another clip there so it's fairly easy and once you're done you just plug it back in and pop it back into place okay so pretty much how to take this out is you want to kind of pry your finger into there basically you want to push this down you know you can kind of see that little hook right there basically you want to push that down and once you get one edge out then it's fairly easy it's just like that you know normally you wouldn't want to touch these bulbs with your hands just because of all the grease and you don't want it to burn out but since we're replacing them you know you can easily just grab these and basically you just want to pull it out it's fairly easy it's kind of hard to do with one hand but try to see if i can show you just like that and you pull it out and basically grab the led one and just plug it back into there and it should be fairly easy pretty much got the two regular halogen style bulbs in there and got the diadynamic ones and basically you just want to it's a little hard to do with one hand but basically just like that and you just push in it's fairly difficult to do it with just one hand so you want to grab this one this bottom end with one hand and push in with this bulb into there it's fairly hard but once you get it in it's fairly easy okay and to pretty much put back the led you just have it just like that you basically just go in like this and you just clip it back into place just like that and all you do is just put this back into the actual assembly don't forget to plug this in and clip it back into those two clips right here and right there and your installation is pretty much complete to put it back in basically you just put it in like that and clip it in and pretty much it just goes into there you line it up and it's actually fairly easy just like that and you know it replaces it into this nice white led light compared to this yellow one so i mean you can obviously see it's kind of hard to tell inside here but it's definitely a lot more brighter with the led light from diadynamics compared to the actual halogen style bulb so i'll end up changing this one out and i'll show you pretty much how it looks like when they're on together okay so one thing that i realized once you basically push this back in and obviously plug it in there is the led lights are actually running now i tried flipping them over and see if that changed anything but they're actually they're right now they're on even though i haven't pushed the actual button obviously if i push the button here it's gonna actually you know shine but when you turn it off the light actually still kind of shines through you can kind of see there it's very faint you can't even see it. it's also on this one like I said, you can't really see there, but that's one thing to keep in mind. I doubt anything will happen to these. They do have a three-year warranty, so, you know, you always have that peace of mind. But it's just one of those things I just decided to, you know, inform you guys on, you know. It, it's slightly on, but once you actually have it in the housing you like that, you can't even see it. So, I, I doubt it will be a problem, but basically we're just going to put those back this side back in and i'll show you what it looks like with the lights on i'm gonna try to show you guys you can kind of see how the lights are actually still on right there 
it, it's very hard to tell from right here. You don't even notice them. You know, it's not going to bother you or anything like that. I'm just wondering, you know, when it's obviously completely dark outside. I'm going to actually turn off the lights really quick to actually see if that does a difference. Okay, so as you can see, obviously everything is 10 times more brighter than they were with the halogen style bulbs. Let's take a look right there. Honestly, they, they look way better. Like this is one of those things that you guys should do. But here, this is what I was actually talking about. You can kind of see like from a distance, you don't even see them. But like you see how they're still on. But obviously, if you turn them on just like that, turn both of them on, that's how they look. And pretty much it illuminates everything. So I would definitely recommend these LED lights if you guys are in the market for them. But that's just one thing to keep in mind, though, you know, is that, you know, that they're still s slightly on. They're like faintly like you can kind of see when I cover my hand there, they're still on. But if you guys are in the market for them, I'll leave a link down in the description to basically the link to where I got them, their website. And I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And it is Drew and I am out. Peace. Thank you.